Hello, I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review this new Thin Line Bible. So as you can tell from the box, this is in the NET translation, the NET translation. Super excited to actually read this translation cover to cover. Another one I get to mark on my list. I'm trying to read all the translations cover to cover. So super, super excited to actually get this one through. Um, I do have their Abide Bible in this translation. Oh no, Lilio. Don't, you guys don't fight. Lilio and Logan, you guys love each other. They're fighting over the window. <laughs> this is Lilith's toe right here that you see. Um, Logan just went by. But okay, so um, yeah. So uh, what, what I was saying was I do have the Abide Bible. It's a study Bible. So I don't like reading study Bibles cover to cover because I get distracted from the notes and articles and stuff like that. So, um, and the Abide Study Bible of theirs has a lot of questions. So yeah, I will be in there for years <laughs> if I try to do that cover to cover. All right, so we're gonna hop on in. Here is the information from the back. And then we got the ISBN barcode right here. Now this does come in a um, clamshell box as we see. I love the little lamb on the front of this. Now this is just, um, it's not, not even fake leather. I don't even know what type of material this is. It's just, uh, they may call it art. Of, I don't, let's see if they have the name. They may call it like faux leather, how some of them do, but I don't think so. No, we're just gonna call it a beautiful blue cover. That's that's exactly what we're gonna do. Cause it is, they have like the light and blue, like highlights and shadows. I don't know if you can really tell without the glare. There it is. So look, it's like a marble look. And then of course the lamb is etched in. Now all these pictures, they were sketched on wood first before they were like Photoshop. So this was on a piece of wood. So that, that's pretty cool. We do have edge line around the perimeter of the Bible. Edge line. We have stitching around the perimeter of the Bible. Come on, cat. Act like you've done a Bible review before. All right, so this spine is super impressive. We have hubs, but they are indented in. So they don't stick out. They're like pressed into the Bibles. That's, that's definitely unique. We have beautiful gold print there. It is from Thomas Nelson. And then there's more of this marble that I was telling you about. Look at that. That is just beautiful. It is gold gilding. We have dark blue matching head and tail bands. That is my sewn. For the price of this Bible, you all, the craftsmanship is very, 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 very beautiful. And the ribbons, I mean, I always, always praise Thomas Nelson for their ribbons. Beautiful, beautiful ribbons. All right. So we do have a paste down liner. Coming into the paste down liner is directly over to the presentation page. We have the title page, the copyright page. Now this is, this is pretty interesting. This is printed in South Korea. So that, that's, that's pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever, or at least in my collection, I don't have any Bibles printed from South Korea. So that's pretty cool. It is designed and typesetting from 2K Denmark. All right, this is a thin line Bible, obviously. So we have the table of contents. Now I don't know if you can really tell on the video but the paper it's not white it's not yellow there's a light tint of blue to it which is which is pretty cool I haven't read from a light tinted like bluish color um, paper in, in a while so I don't know if that's that there may be some kind of benefit to reading longer when it's uh, you know not stark white I know that but I'm curious to see like if the blue, if it will have help. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna go into, this is 
to the reader. So this is a note for us over the translation. Features about this Bible. The team that put this Bible together, I bet there's some kind of benefit to it. Now all of these photos, okay, remember they're done on wood. It even tells you on the back of the box, they're literally done on wood. So that's always cool to remember. But if you have their journaling sets, these photos will match the journaling set. So um, let's say the, let's come back here real quick. Come back to the Psalms. So let's say we're studying the book of Psalms. All right. We're going to get their journal and their journal will match their Bible. How cool is that? I was flipping through and I was like, you know what? I've seen these pictures before. Where have I seen it at? This is their Bible. I mean, not the Bible. <laughs> this is their journal. So it's their, yeah. So I, I do, it's their by journals. I do have a review over this too. I'll leave it linked in the description box below so you can check it out. But yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's cool how they're keeping it tied in together. So I thought that was, that was pretty neat. All right, so let's get back here to the beginning. All right, so at the beginning, we're going to have a two-column layout. Um, their introduction is definitely done differently. I like how their introduction is different because we do always don't want the same information, right? So we have some key verses and key things that are going to happen throughout their Bible. And there we have where we can find Christ. So he's not just in the New Testament, you all. He's in the Old Testament, too. Love that. All right, so looking at the text, it's extremely clean. So it would be a very, very good everyday reader, what I call a daily reader. You don't have no footnotes, no references. It's just literally the word of God. This isn't a 10 point font. Let me get you off the tripod here, get you a nice closer look at that. We do have black headers. It is in the comfort print. It's ten and a half, I'm sorry, ten and a half point font. Very, 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 very beautiful. Through the box here. Now, this is a brand new Bible. Over time, it will lay flat. So I, I will I will say that. You do have some like a sentence margin space over here on the side and the gutter space the gutter space is very 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 impressive like they really aligned everything perfectly now we do have some footnotes over here in the corner so if there's any references or footnotes this are footnotes they're right here and if you can tell look at the footnotes I just noticed that they use different symbols Oh wow, so as we're reading through here, we won't, they don't use like the letter A, B, they use these little symbols. Oh, that is too cool. We're gonna look for that now. I didn't even know that. I didn't think they had, there it is. There's that little symbol. So once we see that little symbol, we come over here and it's right there. That is cool. So it kind of like, I like how they do the symbols because our mind doesn't really like grasp it. Like, oh, there's going to be a study note. Like how the letter, like the reference system will. That the symbol is, that's a good idea. Way to go, Thomas Nelson. I like that. That was, that was genius in my opinion. We do have headers. And they're in the bold color. There's no like two different colors. It's all black. But this blue light tint blue paper. I like it. I really like it. I think it really complements the boldness of the print. This is the poetic setting. Yeah, this, this would be a very, very good reader. And obviously it's thin, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it being too heavy. So it, it's very, very comfortable. 
the size is very comfortable for a hand. I have smaller hands, so it's perfect size. There's not going to be any red letters or nothing like that. But we will, whenever they're referring to the Old Testament and the New Testament, they will bolden up the words. So this is a reference to the Old Testament right here. Love when translations do that. Wow, this is this is exciting. These little marks, I've really got excited about that. That's pretty cool. So it's not like overpowering. Like some translations, like the NKJV, that has a lot of references and footnotes. So I always find myself stopping to try to read and check out all the footnotes. So it's kind of nice when you get a Bible that's just clean and it's not overpowering with that. So back here we have a yearly reading plan. A couple of blank paper. And then we have the maps. They're colored maps. They are on cardstock. Like, not really thick cardstock, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, it is a little bit shiny, but just because I have a light directly above it, there's not that bad of a glare. So people don't always have a light so close, so it's printed out very, very beautifully. I do love this trim around the map. I always say that's how I know how to read a map is the letters and the numbers but yeah look at that look at that i love those colors the color combination on that very very beautiful right here you can tell that it is smite sewn and then that's the end of the bible okay so if you do have any questions for me please leave them down in the comments below um I will I love communicating with you all but all right remember be a creative tool in our father's art box today I love you all and I'll talk to you all later bye since I put the Bible in there <laughs>